What is going on guys, Will here. Welcome to the video where today we're gonna to be exploring some healthy breakfast options. As tempting as it may be to wake up to a cream filling, a morning choice to start the day will set the tone for maximum productivity. So let's explore some healthy breakfast ideas, but first, the essentials. Cheers. So let's cook in. Good looking. So the first recipe of the day are these protein no bake energy balls. So a lot of people see this as a healthy snack, which they are because they are very nutrient dense, but at the same time they pack a ton of calories. Like they are a perfect way to coast on a dirty bulk. But I found a recipe that brings the calories way down so you can have balls for days. So here are the ingredients that you will need. So the first one is you're gonna need one and a half cups of oatmeal. So I have quick oats, use instant oats or a sooner oat if you can find one. Two scoops of chocolate peanut butter protein powder. I'm using Blue Star 1010 for 10% off, link in the description. And just like me, this recipe is accepting of all different types of nuts, but I am using PB2, but feel free to use real peanut butter, almond butter, whatever butter that you want. And then of course, a quarter cup of Walden Farms. Uh, if you don't wanna use this and you wanna save it for date night, use your backup or third string spreads. Uh, if you wanna use real maple syrup or actual honey, go ahead, I just saved that for celebration like weddings or date nights and then to sweeten it up you know just two tablespoons of semi-sweet chocolate chips so I have one cup of PB2 in the bowl right now which is 104 grams and very important you want to slowly add the water in because you want it to have the consistency of actual peanut butter so if you guys are using PB2 just slowly add the water in Okay, so we have one and a half cups of the oatmeal, one cup of the PB2, two scoops of protein, a quarter cup of Walden Farms, and then two tablespoons of chocolate chips. And now we're just gonna mix it up, and then that is the batter, and then we form them into our little balls, or big balls. So obviously you can make these balls into whatever size that you want. So obviously the bigger the balls, the more calories, the more natural that they are. But again, there's no right or wrong way. All right, so this recipe made seven balls, which is unfortunate because usually with balls I deal in pairs, but you know, it is what it is. So they are a little bit sticky right now, so you wanna put them in the fridge for a little bit and then just let them set, but you could have them now if you want. So I also ended up making a cinnamon raisin version of the balls. So all I did was just swap out the protein powder for vanilla protein powder, and then I added raisins to the chocolate chips. And then I also swapped the Walden Farms for some cinnamon date spread. So that quarter cup of Walden Farms, you can kind of like play with it whatever you want to kind of match the flavor profile that you're going for. It just has to be something that's kind of wet so you can kind of mix it up and actually form it into a ball. So you know, this is a great breakfast. Take three of them, take two of them with a piece of fruit, or just walk by the fridge and Lance Armstrong one ball it, you know? So let's go for a little taste test. Okay, so time for breakfast option number two. So I'm a massive fan of the wake and bake, especially those that involve quinoa and oatmeal. So we're gonna be making a quinoa oatmeal breakfast bake. So what you're gonna need is obviously some quinoa and some oatmeal, and then some coconut flakes to top it all off. You're gonna need some vanilla, of course some Walden Farms, again, because what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Uh, you're gonna need two whole eggs, two cups of cashew milk or any nut of your choice, uh, a little bit of ground cinnamon, and then two cups of berries, fresh or frozen, and then three ripe bananas. So around here, I only ever use them when they're green, so it's kind of a shame I'm letting you get to this point, but you know, we're gonna get it all together and then put it into the oven that's preheated at 375 for one hour. And now it's time to make a liquid that the quinoa and the oatmeal are gonna cook it. So it's kind of like a French toast kind of vibe. There's like the egg, the milk, the vanilla, cinnamon, and like the sweetener type of thing. So we're gonna go in with two cups of cashew milk. Again, any nut that you want is welcome. Now we're going with two whole eggs around one teaspoon of vanilla, and then around a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, but I love cinnamon, so I'm gonna go a little bit heavy on that. Last but certainly not least, our boy Walden, two tablespoons. So here is the mixture, and if you want to, it's actually a great idea to add some protein powder if you want, like a vanilla protein. Time to assemble it like a little lasagna. So we're gonna go in with half the banana and half the berries on the bottom of an eight by eight sprayed pan right now. So half. And now the whole entire quinoa mixture we're gonna add on top and evenly spread across the fruit. There we go. And now we're gonna add the remaining fruit on top of the oatmeal and the quinoa. 
So we got a bit of a layer situation going on. We got the fruit, quinoa, oatmeal, and then fruit. Now we're gonna add the liquid. So very important, you wanna actually add the liquid from one side and let it kind of disperse all the way through. And you put it all on the top, the, the fruit might float up and you don't want that to happen. So just very slowly kind of just add it in the corner and it'll make its way through. Mixture is in and now it's time to add the last component which is some toasted coconut. So I put it on the pan right now, just a quarter of a cup to get nice and brown. And then we're just gonna sprinkle it you know, right on top. Oven's preheated at 375 and we're gonna take it over, put it in uncovered for one hour. smells absolutely gorgeous in here. So it was an hour in the oven and you can see it, it's a little bit like runny right now. I give it a shake, it gives me a jiggle in return. So what we're gonna do is just let it sit for 30 minutes to set and then we're gonna play it. Okay, so time for breakfast option number three. We are making some zucchini hash browns. No, they will not taste like McDonald's hash browns. That's like me saying the power balls I made are gonna taste like Ferrero Rocher's, okay? They are not. So what you're gonna need is two zucchinis, two cloves of garlic, half a cup of Parmesan cheese, one whole egg, one teaspoon of some dried oregano, and some pepper. So the first order of business is we are gonna shred both of our zucchinis, put it into the bowl, sprinkle some salt on top, and let it sit to the side, and then we are gonna strain it with a cheesecloth to remove the moisture. so good, I already wanna eat them before they're even cooked. So I made six different hash browns. We're gonna put it into the oven at 400 degrees for 35 minutes, and then we're gonna to top it off with some eggs. 35 minutes later, you should smell it. Oh my God. So here we go. Take a look at those. Now these are gonna change like toast for the rest of your life. So per hash brown, you're looking at 110 calories. Uh, nine grams of protein, three grams of carbs, and seven grams of fat. So we are gonna plate it up right now with a piece of tomato and a sunny side up egg. Okay guys, so time for the last breakfast option of the day. It's gonna be a one pan breakfast sandwich, start to finish around three minutes, super, super quick. And what you're gonna need is an English muffin, two whole eggs, some diced up chives, some shredded cheese, and some ham. And I'm not very picky of a guy, but when it comes to ham, it has to be from the Black Forest. So we're gonna go put it together right now. First order of business is get your English muffin and put it onto the pan. And try not to rip it like I'm about to do. There we go. And now we are gonna crack our two eggs. Now I usually like my eggs like I like the endings of my favorite videos, medium hard with a little bit of drippage, but for this recipe I like to break the yolks. It just cooks a little bit better. So once I break the yolks, I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. I'm gonna go with my chives now. There we go. And now we're just gonna add our cheese on top, which is one serving, and then you're gonna get the English muffin, put it right on top of our eggs, kinda let us do its thing for a little bit and then we're gonna flip it over in just a second. Good, now it's there. So now we're gonna add our ham into the middle and then we're gonna close it with the other side. And there we go, that's the one pan breakfast sandwich. Start to finish, three minutes. And now it's time for the breakfast mukbang. I am gonna eat everything in front of me right now. Not actually, but what I'm gonna do is talk about everything that we've made today. So starting off with the oatmeal and quinoa bake, 140 calories per slice, nine grams of protein, three grams of carbs, and seven grams of fat. Super, super good option. And again, you put this in the fridge, a great meal prep breakfast option. And again, you can add protein powder, you can top it off with Greek yogurt like I did. And then moving on to the power balls, again, a very versatile ball. And then we're gonna move on to the three minute breakfast sandwich. Super simple, delicious, can't go wrong with that. Just a staple if you're on the go. 
And last but not least, probably my favorite recipe of the day is the zucchini hash browns. You know, it's, it's keto friendly, unfortunately not vegan friendly. And uh, yeah, it's gonna change your vision on toast forever. Oh my God. If you can wake up to this every single morning, you will be a happy person. It is delicious. It's like a hybrid between like an actual dessert pie and a healthy breakfast. So I'm gonna probably finish a piece of this, have all of that, some of these, some of that, and then we're gonna head to the gym for my first workout in the gym of 2021. Okay guys, so we are at the gym and it is good to be back. It just instantly puts you in a better mood. So we're gonna be doing a shoulders and legs workout today. And a lot of the stuff I'm doing today, I haven't done in a very, very long time. So because of that, I'm gonna start a little bit lower on weight. I'm not gonna try to like match what I did before quarantine. That's just pretty stupid. So naturally, you're gonna be a little bit weaker and that's completely okay. After a couple of weeks, you'll kind of get back to where you were. So I'm gonna be starting off with the squats, three sets of six to eight reps. Uh, so I've been squatting at home, but I've been squatting on carpet and my weights only go to 305 pounds. So, you know, it might feel a little bit different for you today. So I'm just gonna ease my way in. Yeah, squatting on a flat surface feels foreign to me, man. Okay, so that was three reps with 315, so pretty similar to what I was working with at home. And the flat surface is so much different. So I think today, I'll probably do three sets of six to eight with 330 pounds. Okay, so I just finished the first set of squats, 330 pounds for eight reps. It felt pretty heavy by the fifth rep. Uh, so I could technically get two more sets of eight, but it would be a grind, but I don't want to do that today, especially just being back with the heavy weights. So you know, I'm gonna do around like six reps. And again, the next time I come and do squats, I'll just add a rep here and there. Just take it slowly. Okay, so up next we're gonna do the main shoulder movement of the day, which is the seated dumbbell press. So fun fact, I hate the seated dumbbell shoulder press, but I have been so dumbbell deprived during quarantine that we're gonna do them. So three sets, 10 to 12 reps. Okay, so first set I got 11 reps. Typically before like the lockdown, I'd be getting like 80s for 12 easily. But you know, it's not the fact that you lost muscle. It's actually due to the fact that you know your body just forgot how to like forgot how to do the muscle. You gotta relearn the whole movement. Like so, you know, because I don't have dumbbells in my house past 50s, I haven't been using them. So you know, it's just you have to relearn like the stability muscles in your wrist, your forearms, your shoulders. So it just feels all new. So don't be scared if you just drop the weight. It doesn't mean you lost muscle. It just means take some time to relearn the movement.
soon as I walked into the gym, I made eye contact with this thing right here. So the hack squat, we're gonna do two sets, 12 to 15, just get a little bit more volume in after the squats. Smoothest ride I've had on my back all 2021. Unreal. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to some more accessory work. So I'm gonna do uh, the lateral raise. I love this machine, I miss it so much. So three sets told to 15, and then we're gonna superset it with reverse back deck, three sets told to 15. So most people do the movement facing that way, but try doing the reverse cowgirl. Face this way, I've noticed personally, I feel it in my shoulders way more. Okay, so we're gonna do 90 second rest. Repeat that three times. All right guys, so shoulders are on fire, legs are pretty done right now. So I'm gonna move on to the last superset of the day, which is some dumbbell Romanian deadlifts. Superset with just some standard tricep pushdowns, three sets, 10 to 12. Okay guys, well that is gonna wrap up the workout. So I didn't really come into the gym today with a plan. I just wanted to kind of, you know, feel things out and just kind of enjoy being back in the gym, trying the squats up again on a flat surface, using the dumbbells, using the machines, just having a good time and that's totally okay. So over the next couple of weeks, I will actually release exactly what I'm gonna be doing in the gym going forward. So you can be on the lookout for that in a future vlog. Uh, so I'm gonna be heading home now, having all the breakfast that I have left over, doing things in reverse tonight. So that is gonna wrap up the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.